Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. So we're here at the Sacred Heart Church, again, the same church we were at yesterday. Uh, we talked to one of the people who are working the scene here. They said they were trying to help us out and see if they can get us an interview, so we'll just wait and see what happens. What we have here is just we're, we're setting up uh, an area where uh, we can facilitate the, their sleeping quarters. Right. And you know, right now they're on the floor, so what we did is we brought in a, a tent, a regional resource that we have in the area, and we're going to have them, uh, you know, sleep a little more comfortable in the air condition here. Right. right here. Now let me ask you, sir, uh, the people who you're housing here, where are they coming from? I'm being told they're coming from Central America. A lot of right. them are Central America, and a lot of them are uh, younger kids uh, with their moms, mm -hmm. for the most part. And why Central America? Why is that uh, the popular destination? I have no idea. Well, what happened to today, in particular, is that the Border Patrol dropped off some, they call them detainees, but right. obviously they're not detained after they drop them off. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally they have tickets or arranged transportation to go somewhere in the interior. Well, today, apparently for some logistical reasons, some of them didn't, hadn't had transportation arranged, or their transportation is tomorrow. Right. And so we're having to find places to shelter them for tonight. So we've accessed some resources that we have. We're going to shelter them here tonight. So uh, why is the Border Patrol bringing them here? They're not bringing them here. They're bringing them to our bus terminal because that's where the Border Patrol understands that they have transportation to go to the interior. Right. So they're dropping them off. It's our understanding that they were dropped off with tickets or with vouchers for tickets. Um, Turns out some of them didn't tonight, didn't right. have their ticket or didn't have their voucher, or like I said, their bus is until tomorrow, so they got nowhere to stay. Our bus terminal, bars, I mean the city of McAllen, mm -hmm. bus terminal is not a 24 7 operation, right. so we've got to put them up somewhere else. So for tonight, we're doing the best we can with this resource, which thankfully one of our neighboring cities right. made available to us, and we're going to put them up here tonight. Tomorrow we'll have a little chat with the Border Patrol and see what's going on. Right. Now, I'm just curious as to what point these people come in contact with the Border Patrol. Do you know... Originally? Yes. You'd have to ask them, but I'm assuming it's coming across... The coming border. across the border. So, they, so as far as you know, they come across the border, they encounter the Border Patrol, and the Border Patrol brings them to a facility such as the bus station? No, they don't bring them there. They take them... They initially take them to the Border, the border Patrol station. Yes. And they detain them there, and they process them there. And then after they process them, the, ones, the only ones that you'll see here or family units mm -hmm. that are like a mom and a couple of kids that they have determined don't pose any sort of security risk and right. don't have a criminal background and they've got relatives or um, help somewhere in the interior. Mm -hmm. So that category of people, again, as our understanding, they provide them a ticket right? and then they drop The Border Patrol provides them a ticket? That's what we were told and that's what I understood, but obviously some of them didn't. Or, or they're arranging tickets with them there, There's you know what I mean? Means. With a relative that's paying for something, I don't know. It, it's all, it's all word of mouth, man. It's all, the, uh, they're all calling back home and saying, hey, you know, you know, come on over. All yeah. I know is that until today, 99% of them that got off the Border Patrol bus at our bus station had a ticket. Right. And so all we, all, all the, all the um, charitable organizations were doing was help feeding them, giving them some clothes, let them, we provided showers and things like that, and then putting them on the bus and off they go. So tonight's the first time we really had this, e even this many that we've had to deal with overnight. Well, so we'll try so, to sort it out. Tomorrow. Well, let me ask you this, sir. Uh, you said these people encountered the border patrol crossing the border. Are any of them facing any? criminal charges for crossing the border they're all, itself? They're all detainees and they're right. all traveling with the understanding that they have a notice to appear, uh, which is a document that says you can travel, mm -hmm. but on such and such a date you need to appear at the immigration court and wherever. The, the thing about it is, we aren't just letting them go. Um, they're, being, they're being given uh, orders to, to appear you know, in front of a, a immigration judge. Mm -hmm. If they're going, I don't know. 
back. Ladies and gentlemen, to a couple of them last night. we're going to break. You just heard the facts. The Border Patrol is shipping the illegal aliens into the U.S. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. The news has now reached red level Bedlam insanity. It is off the chart. We have the Attorney General, the President, and Hillary in the last two weeks saying they're getting ready with executive orders to basically ban all guns from sale that do not have biometrics on them. That they will then retroactively ban all the other guns. She is saying the American people, when we have the clip, are not allowed to terrorize others owning guns when it's the controlled corporate press and the brainwashers, to use the Attorney General's own words about brainwashing the public to fear guns, they are the ones creating the perception and fear that there's an epidemic of gun violence when the proliferation of guns and the gun culture winning in most areas of the country and gun ownership exploding by the Justice Department's own numbers since 1991 Crime rates using guns have dropped 52%. Some of the most accurate statistics out there are the FBI numbers. 
when you go to statistician school, you can look this up. That's the world model. In Russia, they study FBI statistics. In Japan, they study it. In Germany, they study it. Because that's what J. Edgar Hoover was good at, was setting that up. Because they're local numbers, <clears throat> they're hard to fudge because they get compiled all over the country. So even if one jurisdiction is manipulating numbers, like Chicago's been caught trying to keep numbers down and things, it doesn't matter. Because overall, the general crime rate comes out and is matched with the court numbers and the conviction numbers and the prosecutions. Now, that said, when Hillary comes out and says, quote, we can't let gun control opponents hold an opinion that terrorizes America, you see the labeling of your values, of my values, of freedom's values, of common sense, self-defense, individual liberty, liberta, being demonized. And that dovetails with Obama saying, look, Australia just had, you know, very harsh, very strict, yeah, total ban, except for single shot with a license. Crime rate just exploded all over the country on record. The muggings, the stabbings, the rapings, um, you can look it up. The major cities are beset. Uh, with mainly immigrant crime waves that are protected and coddled by the social services system. And again, this is how it's done. This is how the government takes over and controls society. <clears throat> the same model is being deployed here. We're going to be breaking that down in a moment. This morning, I got up at about 6 a.m. and at about 6.30, watched the video that is just now going up on Infowars.com. And our reporters down there on the border are doing a bang-up job, but they just don't realize most of the time just how sensational the information is they're getting and, and how dangerous it is the globalist. A week ago, a week and a half ago, we sent Joe Biggs and others down to the military bases in San Antonio, overrun with illegals. And... Fox News, everybody else was forced to run down there and cover it days after we did. Then we sent reporters down to the Sacred Heart Church in McAllen, down on the border that was housing illegals that were bussed right in to be deployed all over the country. Now there's satellite farms of media out there. Again, the globalists hire so-called journalists now that it's not just that they're controlled, they don't have any instinct for news. And so what's happening is everywhere my reporters now go, all over Texas, where they're going to go to Houston next, next week, and then Dallas, and then we're going to, I'm probably going to send them to New York and Virginia, where the liberals are saying, my God, it's overwhelming our social services, everything's collapsing. I mean, in one town in New York, I've got the news today, there's more than 10,000 children that have shown up in a small town. I mean, it's, it's like a tsunami hit. When Houston gets hit by hurricanes one time, I was in East Texas, 150 miles at our ranch from, from uh, the hurricane. And there were illegal aliens in tents on the side of the road on ranch roads that you may see one car every 30 minutes on. There were just illegals everywhere, folks, because it flooded out South Texas that is basically Mexico. And Latin America. Flesh eating bacteria, drug resistant TB, am amoebas. And by the way, folks, I know the medical workers that are getting the drug resistant TB from it. I know the people that have been in jail that are getting it. I know people that have the amoebas, okay? Okay, this is going on. It is a collapse. So I get up this morning and there's a headline up there, and then I watched the video, and I had the headline changed. U.S. Border Patrol paying to ship illegals deep into the United States. They go talk to the city officials, the same ones that are in the news, Lawton police. Feds want cops to secure Fort Still immigrant children. The feds are saying, we're not even going to secure them, we're going to let them go. The ICE agent who blew the whistle yesterday said they disgorge him at midnight. Our reporters were there. We'll see what happened when they come up at the bottom of the hour. And we had city officials tell us on video, Border Patrol won't talk to us, that yes, because, you know, Jakari, we're going to play the video coming up. We just played part of it. It's like, why are there buses that pull right through the Border Patrol? They get on white 
vans and then drive in to the cities, the staging grounds, and buses pull up there.